Hello friends and children, welcome back to Home Tutor. This is your personal teacher Nipa Nibin. We have completed chapter 1, how, when and where of class 8 history. Now we are going to uh, some question sessions. The first one will be from NCRT textbook and other one, other session will be that is from my hands. So just try it and uh, try to get the answers of all the questions. I already told you that I have prepared some question answers and uh, some question answers are from the NCRT textbook. So we'll be discussing both and I want you to do that is you have to write it, write it down. That is you have to write down the answers of all the questions so that we can confirm that you have uh, you have uh, have some knowledge about the particular chapter. And also we can analyze ourselves how we know about the chapter. So once you know you have some doubts, you may go to the particular part and again confirm that. So the first part of our questions is from NCRT textbook. There are four questions and uh, the first one is true or false checking. A. James Mill divided Indian history into three periods, Hindu, Muslim and Christian. So we want to know that which type of division have James Mill done? And from that you have to come to a conclusion whether it is true or false. Official documents help us understand what the people of the country think. So whether the official documents helped us to understand about the thought of the people, that should be given here whether it is true or false. Then C. The British thought surveys were important for effective administration. In order to get effect, uh, in, order, in order to conduct effective administration, the British has thought that surveys are very much important. Is it true or false? Then coming to the second question, what is the problem with the periodization of Indian history that James Mill offers? What are the concepts of James Mill and what are the problems regarding the periodization according to him? Then third one, why did the British preserve official documents? What was the intention for preserving official documents? Where did they preserve it? All these should be answered here. Fourth one, how will the information historians get from old newspapers be different from that found in police reports? Can you give a differentiation or a differentiation among the police report and the historians information from old newspaper? This is the second part of our question and I have named it as random chase. Here I have prepared some question from all the part of the tech, uh, ch chapter. So there are 15 questions and I'll read from one. A history of British India was written by who have written the textbook? Who drew the first map of India? The first governor general of British India the first governor general of India. Don't think that I have misread this because these two questions are quite important for competitive exams. There is a first governor general for British India and also a first governor general for the India also that is independent India. The Sepoy mutiny broke out in. When did the Sepoy mutiny broke out? 6. What is calligraphy? 7. Census is conducted for. 8. Census is conducted in every dash year. This is an important question that, have, that is asked by competitive exams. Then 9. The British believed that a country had to be properly known before it could be effectively administered. For this, what they have conducted? 10. Historians divided Indian history into. 11. Specialized institutions were established to preserve important records. What are they? 12. Who is a governor general? 13. What was the opinion of James Mill about Indian society? 14. Colonialism. What is colonialism? 15. What were the other surveys conducted by the Britishers? So please write your answers in a sheet. And in the next video, we will discuss the questions that I have mentioned here. So I will come with the answers in the next video. So please write down the answers and keep it safely. Then please watch, like, share and subscribe also. Press the bell icon for notifications. 
then if you have any doubts please go through the parts once again or please have repeated listening to the videos okay thank you very much bye